Hello lovely people. Welcome back to my kitchen and thank you for joining me today to cook my tasty jollof rice. All right, so let's get into the ingredient that I use in making my jollof rice. I have my salmon. I have my bell peppers, red and green. And the rice that I am using is AA rice. Feel free to use any rice of your choice and my onions. You can use any vegetable of your choice, okay? This AA rice is very, very delicious. You can use your basmati, your jasmine, and any rice available to you. You can use this to make your jollof rice. You don't need any special rice for jollof rice. Any rice available to you, you can feel free and use it, okay? So the last time I made my tasty jollof stew and i'll be using the same jollof stew to make my jollof rice okay and i told you the secret behind this jollof rice is about the stew not the ingredients here but the stew if the stew is nice definitely your jollof rice will be great okay so you take it from yeah my pan is already on fire so i'll be putting my stew in my pan and we start making our jollof rice before you cook your rice you have to ask yourself whether you want your jollof rice to be moist or you want it dry so it all depends on you if you want it moist that means that you have to add a lot of stew to make your jollof rice and if you want it dry you reduce the stew okay so as you can see i am heating up my stew and making it ready for me to add my you know the rice to it okay so you feel free to do anything so if you like you can put in a little spice of your choice but i prepared the stew as the way i will eat it with my rice or any kind of uh, food that's I want to eat it with all right so yeah i'll be adding in the rice i want the stew to heat up for about one to three minutes and then add the the rice okay so the water that i will be putting in on the rice i i want it to cook very fast so i will add warm water you can feel free to use any uh, water of your choice all right so you know yeah so i'll be putting in my wash rice in my stew and then stir okay so i've realized most people don't wash their rice before cooking okay it's an optional you can choose whether to wash or to not wash your rice it all depends on you but i prefer to wash my rice before cooking okay is an individual choice okay nobody will force you to wash your rice or not to wash your rice anything that you can do to feel free you have to do it okay so i prefer to wash my rice okay so you take it from there you know yeah we are still on making our tasty ghana jollof rice so at this moment i will stir the rice and the stew for everything to mix up and then we take it from there yeah cooking is very very dynamic okay the fact that you are cooking different way and i am cooking uh other way doesn't mean i don't know how to cook okay cooking is very very dynamic eh? so the end result should speak for you we don't care the processes you use to make your jollof rice but the end results trust me should speak for you okay so i added the hot water because i wanted my rice to cook very fast okay it's an optional you can use cold water to your rice but i prefer the hot water because it will make everything fast fast for me and i'll be adding in salt to taste okay to my jollof rice and then cover it for the jollof rice to start you know 
boiling yeah we can't wait for this jollof rice to get ready yeah is kitchen special okay so at this moment i realize the water that i'm using to cook is not enough so i'll be adding extra water to it and then you now start it from there cooking is not difficult making jollof rice is not difficult just make your stew nicely and then add your rice to it that's all okay so people like dry jollof rice and others don't like it dry they want it to be moist okay it all depends on you okay so if you want it dry that means that you have to make sure that the water that you are using is not over okay you have to measure the right um the water okay take less water to cook but if you want it moist then you have to take into consideration the water and the stew as well okay yeah i'll be adding the water that i told you about to it and yeah we are good to go this jollof rice will be very very nice tasty delicious you bring in your words okay very very nice i urge you all to bring your plate so that you can eat together right so i'll be tasting for the salt okay you have to make sure that you taste for the salt if it's okay for you okay so i have tasted for the salt and everything is okay for me please note make sure you cook on medium heat okay we don't want the jollof rice to burn so allow it to cook gently yeah my jollof rice has been on fire for about 15 minutes and i have to check it and now stay because i don't want the food to burn all right very very simple recipe it's not difficult to make jollof rice okay it's not difficult at all to make your delicious jollof rice and after i'll just cover it and allow it to cook you know gently okay this jollof rice will be very very tasty nice delicious sumptuous mouth watering you know bring in your ways okay nice yeah we are still making our tasty jollof rice okay i can't wait for this jollof rice to be ready okay you can garnish your jollof rice with your salad you know anything that you want to eat it with okay so i'll now give it a stir and now cover it with a foil or you can cover it with what a napkin okay it's not difficult to make your jollof rice i like my rice to be very very what moist yeah at this moment i'll be adding in my bell peppers and my onions and my salmon you know instead wow my food is very very colorful very very nice wow yeah i'm very very happy that it came out very very nice you can add any vegetable of your choice okay or you can add in your you know your punching your emani you know any meat or fish of your choice okay Please, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly do so and click on your notification button so that if I upload any video, you'll be the first person to watch my videos, you know. Now, the jollof rice is ready to be consumed by my family and myself. Very, very simple recipe. Kindly bring in your comment and share my videos. Please tell a friend to tell another friend okay and comment politely you can garnish your jollof rice with your shito your baked beans your ketchup your mayonnaise and you know anything that you want to eat it with your plantain your kalaule any you know anything that you want to eat it with very very simple recipe and it came out the way I wanted it. Very, very moist. Oh, so the way I made to me the minsano, I'm one D. Very, very simple recipe. So see you next time with another recipe. Thank you. Bye.